Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. And in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a shake effect in one click in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to apply a shake effect in one click in VSTC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So, this is my demo video present right here. And first, what we are going to do is we will apply a shake effect on top of our video. So, double click on your video. Now, go to video effects, go to transforms, select shift, and now click on OK. Now, currently, the duration of the shift effect is the entire duration of my demo video in the timeline, which is 9 seconds to 66 milliseconds. So, I would like to reduce the duration of the shift effect to just 100 milliseconds. So, inside the duration option, you need to write 00 0.100 and then press enter. Now, let's zoom in our timeline so that we can clearly see our shift effect. Now, look inside the shift settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside X shift levels, currently the value is 100 pixel. So delete this value and instead of 100, you need to write 0 semicolon minus 25 and now press enter on the keyboard. Now click on Y shift levels and once again inside Y shift levels, currently the value is 100 pixel. So delete this value and write 0 semicolon minus 25 and now press enter on the keyboard. Now, what you need to do next is you need to click on this shift effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now, place this second shift effect right at the end like this and look inside the shift settings of this second shift effect. Inside X shift levels, currently the values are 0 semicolon minus 25. So, instead of 0 semicolon minus 25, you need to write 0 semicolon 25 and now press enter on the keyboard and inside Y shift levels currently the values are 0 semicolon minus 25 once again so delete this value and write 0 semicolon 25 and now press enter on the keyboard all right now what we are going to do next is we will create duplicates of these two shift effects so click on the first shift effect Press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Place the third shift effect right at the end. Click on the second shift effect. Press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Place the fourth shift effect right at the end like this. Once again click on the first shift effect. Press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Place the fifth shift effect right at the end. Now click on the second shift effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Place the sixth shift effect right at the end. Click on the first shift effect once again, press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V. Place the seventh shift effect right at the end. Click on the second shift effect once again, press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V. Place the 8th shift effect right at the end. Click on the first shift effect once again. Press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V. Place the 9th shift effect right at the end. And click on the second shift effect once again. Press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V. And place the 10th shift effect right at the end like this. Now, just to make our job a little easy, Select all the shift effects like this. Press Ctrl C and press Ctrl V. Now place the second batch of shift effects right at the end like this. Perfect. Now let me just zoom out my timeline. And so I have successfully applied a shake effect on top of my video. So if I just quickly play the video to you to show you the output. So as you can see, I've successfully applied 
a shake effect on top of my video. Let me just lower the resolution and once again let me just play the video for you. Alright, now as you saw this process is kind of time consuming. If you have multiple videos and you want to apply a shake effect to all those videos, it is going to take a lot of your time. So what we are going to do is we will save these shift effects as a template. And um, to do that, you need to look inside Projects Explorer tab. And right here, you are going to find this template window present. So click on this template window and you need to come right at the bottom and what you need to do is you need to first of all um, you need to first of all click on this particular option which says select all so click on this option now the moment you click on this option all your shift effects will get selected all right now what you need to do is you need to click on this transition collection folder and now you need to click on this plus button which says add template so click on this plus button and you need to wait for a couple of seconds and this entire shift template using which we are kind of shaking our video will be saved so Let's just wait for the template to get added. You might experience some glitch, but that's all right. And as you can see, a new template one has been added right below transition collection folder. And so if I just close this particular project, And if I create a new blank project, now let me just import a demo video. So now I want to apply the shake effect. So what I need to do is double click on the video go to the template window which is present right here and right here you can see this new template one present simply drag this particular new template one and drop it inside the timeline and now as you can see all my shift effects are directly applied on top of my video and so now if I just quickly play the video for you Perfect. Let me just rename this to shake effect. Perfect. Again, wait for a couple of seconds for the changes to take effect. You might experience some glitch, but uh, don't worry. It is going to be absolutely fine. Perfect. And as you can see, I have successfully created a template of my shake effect. And now I can directly drag and drop this template on top of my video. I don't need to, you know, um, add shift effects and then copy paste it to create the shake effect. I can directly drag and drop this template and use it in my projects. So this is how you can apply a shake effect in one click in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.